Some aquamarine gemstones are heated to increase their color. That usually happens at around 600 degrees Celsius. But I chose to use a blowtorch like this. And I did burn this aquamarine and let's take a look at what really happened in that process. Now of course this is not how aquamarines are heated. Typically aquamarines are heated at low temperatures that's only around 700 degrees Fahrenheit or 371 degrees Celsius. Um, it's happening also in a oxygen-free environment. The ferric iron content in aquamarines converts to ferrous iron content. So the bluish green becomes more blue. That's why you heat them. But what we are doing is we are blowing around 1100 degrees Celsius, so three times the amount it's supposed to be onto the stone. And as we can see, we totally destroy the stone. The inclusions yeah, become good. brown and the whole stone becomes pale and loses color. That's the same effect on emeralds also. So do not do that with emeralds. Don't, matter of fact, don't do that with any stones. Never blowtorch any gemstone, okay? Because the heat you can generate by this is just incredible. I mean, a normal torch is 1,100 degrees Celsius. A air-fed torch is 2,000. And an oxygen-fed torch is 2,550 degrees Celsius. That's enough to melt almost every metal on Earth. Like, this is... Ridiculous. I did this experiment to the stone because I wanted to see what will happen to the stone. And when we look at it under the microscope, we will see that the fragile structures simply exploded and cracked the stone internally open. If you would heat a gemstone professionally, of course you would heat it with a self-regulating oven, an elect electric oven, and yeah, definitely not use a blowtorch. Of course, back in the days, they didn't have electronic self-regulating okay. ovens. So what they did in Sri Lanka, for instance, was putting gemstones into coconut husk and blowpipe them, basically creating the over 1000 degrees Celsius that are needed to heat sapphires. With normal coal, you, you would not achieve these temperatures, at least without blowpipe. But even sapphires, the hottest material next to diamonds, is also very sensitive during the heat process. They can also create internal cracks just because of the thermal shock. I experienced that myself with a yellow piece of corundum, which you can see in the video, and it also cracked. And it did crack because I shocked it after I heated it up. But as we read, it can also happen on a minuscule scale during the heating process. Oh, so I hope this video prevents you from blowtorching your gemstones and jewelry. I really hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, like, share and subscribe and see you in the next video.